hello everybody it's rose again and i have another three unboxings for you today and two finishes from fan cells and so many of you will know that back in about february of this year i made a huge order from fan cells i think i it was either like 57 or 59 special shape diamond paintings maybe 70 i can't remember now it was a long time ago anyway um i still haven't done all the unboxings for them uh but i fell in love with fan cells back in february and so now i have the pleasure of working with fan cells and i have three more fan cells diamond paintings to show you and two of these are rose tries so let's get right into it and i'll show you the first one so we're opening 514 515 and 519 today so we'll start off with 514 which is a very large diamond painting this one is a five panel diamond painting that uh, was sent to me as a rose tries by Zara Secker. And um, I didn't, I don't know what it was that Zara was looking for when uh, she asked me to do this because that was before I started asking people to tell me why they wanted me to unbox it. Uh, like what it was about the, about the diamond painting that made them unsure. Uh, so I'm just going to do a super detailed review. And hopefully whatever Zara's concerns were will be addressed. All right. So I call this one Sunrise Fine Five Panel. Uh, could be a sunset, actually. It's probably better as a sunset, but I'm calling it Sunrise. What the heck? Um, and it comes with two kits, just regular kits, which are everything you need to complete this diamond painting. And then, of course, the drills in the blue stripe packaging. We'll get into those in great detail in just a little while. Now, um, this actually came through shipping very, very well. Uh, it does not need to be ironed at all. There's no... Um, big creases in it. So the only thing I'm going to do right now is it's got, um, it's just got sort of the curl from, from uh, shipping. So I'm just rolling it back on itself to get rid of the curl. And there's nowhere on this canvas where the uh, plastic pulled away from the paper, or not the paper, from the canvas, uh, because that often causes those male increases that need to be ironed out carefully um, but this doesn't have that so I'm just gonna hold this for a little while it doesn't take long at all to uh, to get those creases out and voila there we go okay so uh, lots of red in this and then you've got the, the burning sun, the beautiful burning sun on the water. I guess this is a sunset. I, I don't know why I called it sunrise, but anyway, that's okay. Um, I think it's a sunset. I don't know. There's a lot of red. Um, so, it's a five panel. As we see, the panels are not all that big. So, um, I'm going to do this in five different pieces. So I've got five coins in my penny jar. And every time one of those coins comes up, I'll do whichever panel uh, it is. Cause I've got like, this is number 514. So I've got 514.1, 514.2, 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0.5. So if I pull up 514.4, then I'll do that, um, that one there. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and so, you know, over time, this thing will get done. Now, if I'm having a blast working on 514.4, let's say, um, 
there's nothing to stop me from working on one of the other panels as well but uh but there you go and this one here i might do i'm not 100 percent sure um this one has 17 colors so it's not a lot of color uh and i don't think that that's necessarily bad because when like i'll put in i'll put in here the photo that comes from the website and i think this kind of i think it does justice to the to the photo as i recall it i'm looking at the black and white right now um which is mostly dark gray because red and black um but uh yeah i think this does justice to it more colors would have done more justice to it but there you go zara you'll need to decide whether um 17 colors is enough once we get into this a little bit more okay so um i am going to take one minute to pull back the plastic and put it down flat again just just so that um i can sort of cold iron this thing so i'm not going to show you that i'll come back in a second okay so um yeah i'm glad i did that because i think it's gotten rid of some of the glare that you were getting uh off of the plastic it hasn't gotten rid of all of the glare but that's okay okay so let's measure this this is advertised as 95 by 45 and so that would be the canvas size this the the actual area of this diamond painting is going to be a lot smaller because we have some very very small panels um and so those will go super super fast uh and so let's let's see what it is end to end of the drill area so it's 87 and a half so we'll call it 88 across and at its highest point it is 39 so 88 by 39 and um let's oops let's just see what each panel is so each panel is 15 centimeters so the biggest one at 39 um would be about 600 uh, so this would be just under 600 square centimeters um, and this one th uh, 30 so 15 by 30 so that's 450 square centimeters and this one is 22 by 15 uh so 330 ish uh 300 so 660 ish plus what did i say um i think i was up to about 1500 so this is about the same area it's a little bit bigger than the area of a 20 by or of a uh, 40 by 50 diamond painting drill area uh, like if you were to put all of the that drill area together it's just a little bit bigger than a 40 by 50 diamond painting would be so um, so the price for this is amazing and that's one of the things about fan cells I get zero commission from fan cells I just want you to know that and I'm totally fine with that because their prices are so fantastic and um, they wouldn't make any money if they were paying commissions. So um, I also don't have a discount code for fan cells, but because their prices are so low, um, you're going to get this for at, l like for at most the price that you would buy it in many of the other stores uh, on, on the web. So, um, so anyway, fan cells is like value for money, very, very good. Okay, 
So as I said, we have 17 colors and they are mostly dark colors, the reds, uh, the pinks, the black, uh, and the, the dark blues um, with a few of the light colors for the sun and its reflection in the water. So uh, I like the, I like the legend. It's simple to read. Uh, I will tell you, like, I like the symbols that are used. The one thing I don't like is I don't like um, necessarily the dark colors with black print. Um, it's legible. I was worried that it might not be legible. It is legible. I'll probably use a light pad on this. Uh, just to keep my eyes from straining. But because I'm going to be doing it in small chunks, like this one here, for example, what did I say it was? 15 by 22? Like that's something I can do in one sitting. So altogether, this will probably take me four or five days, maybe. Um, so the print is pretty clear. I'm going to blow up. I don't like blowing up unnecessarily because I want to give you as realistic an experience as possible. Uh, and when I go to 2X, you know, you'd have to wear magnifying lenses to see it the same way. Uh, but I do find that this here, it definitely will benefit from a light pad. Uh, there's not a lot of color blocking on this area that we're looking at here. It is kind of like, there's only a few colors, but those colors are very confetti. Now here we get into a little bit more color blocking for those of you who like color blocking. Yeah, and then we, we get more into the color blocking sort of in the center uh, of this panel. And a lot of the dark colors. Yeah, I think this one will actually not be too hard to do. With a light pad, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And again, you know, I have to remind myself, and I'm going to remind you, that as we work on our canvases, we get more familiar with the symbols. And so symbols that at first we think, oh, that's hard to read. When we've been working with the canvas for a little while, we don't find them hard to read anymore because our brains have adjusted and, and they see those symbols as they were meant to be seen. Like even now, I've only been looking at this for what, a minute, minute and a half, and I'm already finding it way easier to read these symbols than when I first looked at it. So, um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, all right. So... I'm not going to go in huge, huge detail on each panel because, you know, 17 colors, it's pretty much the same colors that repeat again and again. Um, so I think, I think you're getting the idea here. I will spend a little bit of time on this middle panel because it's the one that has the, the most of the colors because it's got the yellows as well. And so, again, there's a bunch of color blocking in here. And all of those symbols are very, very legible. Nothing that's confusing or troublesome. So, yeah, no, that's good. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think this is good. Zara, I will be looking forward to hearing your comments on this. Uh, or to reading your comments on this. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you could leave them down below and uh, let me know what you think of this and you know whether you intend to purchase it now. Uh, okay, and if you don't, uh, I would really appreciate knowing why because uh, that will get fed back to fan cells and, um, you know, so that they can improve their store through feedback. All right. So yeah, this looks good. Um, 
it looks good. It doesn't have a lot of colors. I mean, sunsets or sunrises, whichever this is, um, always look better with lots and lots of color because that is, you know, the thing that makes them so magnificent. But, sorry about that. I got dis uh, disturbed. Disturbed is the proper word. I got disturbed by a call from a duct cleaning service provider. I just, I, I don't know how many times I have to tell these people not to call me. I am on a do not call list and it just makes me crazy when these duct cleaning services keep calling me anyway. I have no duct to clean. I live in a condo. Anyway. Um, anyway. <sighs> Breathe out. Breathe in. Be calm. So uh, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, uh, this is realistic, even though it doesn't have all that many colors, and I'm looking at it through the camera now, and it looks actually really, really good through the camera, which tells me that when I'm looking at it from, you know, five or six feet away, it's going to look great. Uh, you should never judge a diamond painting on what it looks like up close, because you see all the pixels. When you move away from it, at least three feet away from it, uh, you see the whole thing come together. And so it, it looks much better. But last night I was watching the sunset out my front window because uh, my front window faces sort of north, uh, west. And, um, and I remarked, as I so often do when I'm watching a sunset, that there was a point at which all that myriad colors that I had seen earlier had sort of deepened into five or six or eight colors. And they seemed far more, well, it looked more like this, uh, where you see those shades of red. But like minutes before, it had been so many more colors. So this, I think, is realistic for that moment when the colors sort of coalesce into a few shades only. Anyway, um, I actually quite like this from a distance. And I do love red, so, well, yeah, no, uh, this is good. Okay, so, Let's take a look at the drills now. Okay, so uh, here are the drills for this. And as you see, there are a lot of this number 10, which is 814, which is an absolutely gorgeous color. I love 814. Uh, there is a lot of it. It's a good thing I love it because tons and tons of 814. And here what I'm seeing is that there are multiple uh, packs of many of the colors because uh, this really is intensive on those few intense colors that you see at that particular moment when it's just about to go black at night or just gone black in the morning or yeah well whatever whether it's a sunrise or a sunset i'm now thinking this is a sunset i'm having i'm having a hard time deciding whether this is a sunrise or a sunset. You guys tell me what you think. I'll be very interested to know. Okay, so uh, we're supposed to have 17 colors. We've got five in this first strip, and then we've got 17, uh, up to 17 in the end. So let's go through them. And the first thing I will remark to you is that this is the blue stripe packaging. Uh, like it's, it's blue print or purple print what is that blue or purple hmm. um I, th I guess it's purple uh with the silver on top and uh these drills i have found to be extremely good all right so uh i'm going to take a moment while we are looking at these drills to remind you all about what the rose tries program is and what it is is you send me the link to a diamond painting that a diamond painting or an item that uh, you're considering buying from one of the sites that's listed on the bottom of your screen right now and uh, I will potentially order it I say potentially because I'm 
starting to get a lot of requests and so I won't be able to order everything um, and there are some things I won't order like if I already have a particular diamond painting and it's in my earlier catalog of you know videos I'm not going to reorder something that you know I've bought before um, there are certain subjects that I don't cover on my channel and uh, I won't say there's no way that I would order a diamond painting that's one of those subjects, but it's unlikely that I would order a diamond painting that's one of those subjects. So, um, and I'll tell you, like I'll, I'll let you know if, uh, if it's a diamond painting that I've ordered before or if I'm not going to order it. I always re respond to the Rose Tries videos. Um, as long as they're about one of those stores that I am telling you about. Um, don't send, like, I'm, I'm begging you, do not send me a request to try some other store on the Rose Tries. That's not what Rose Tries is about. Rose Tries is about me um, sharing with you uh, diamond paintings or items from the stores that I am currently working with uh, to see whether there's something that you would like. Um, by doing a detailed review and so if you want me to try out a different store by all means I'd love to know uh, but don't put rose tries in the subject line because that's not what the rose tries program is about okay so um, so there you go all the information you need for the rose tries program is above and uh, so I look forward to getting your requests and you'll be seeing a lot more Rose Tries videos in the coming weeks because I've been getting an awful lot of Rose Tries requests. Now, like today, I'm not going to order only diamond paintings that uh, that I am asked about on the Rose Tries program because I, you know, I want to show you diamond paintings that I like. Many, or most of you. Uh, who follow my channel follow my channel because you like the stuff that I pick and um, and so I'm going to continue picking stuff because that seems to be a winning strategy <laughs> and until it's not a winning strategy I'm going to continue to pick my own diamond paintings a lot of the time <laughs> but I am having a blast with the Rose Tries program and um, like I get sometimes I get requests to try something and there are things that I also had considered getting in the past but didn't because I didn't know how it would turn out like yesterday somebody sent me uh, a dragonfly uh, image that had some printing on it and um, and she said you know I'm not sure how the printing would come out and that was something that I had thought about getting that diamond painting I don't know how many times because it was an image that I absolutely loved and I never got it because I was worried that the print wouldn't turn out and I and so I think that the only thing I've ever gotten that has like words on it is um, like a great big huge one that had some Chinese symbols on it and um, because I'm just afraid that the, the writing won't come through uh, but as a rose tries absolutely I'll try it out it was a it was an image that I loved and and so I felt absolutely um, I don't know it just empowered me to get it because somebody else wanted to see it so there you go um, I love the rose tries program I think it's it's fun for me and I hope it's fun for you too to see what other people um, like and uh, so I'll look forward to all of your comments on on the two rose tries that we're opening today okay uh, just a second I am writing up the label that goes in the drill thing and uh, as soon as I finish doing that we will move on to the next item uh, I'll just skip ahead and the next thing you see will be me putting this stuff away okay so uh, we're finished with the sunrise five panel I did forget to mention but I'm sure you saw these are round drills 
so um, I think that's the only bit of information that I did not give you so far. Uh, so let's move on and let's take a look at the next item. All right, so the next item is something that I have been interested in getting for ages. So these uh, little lights, diamond painting lights, they're special shaped things. They've been around for a long time. And I remember watching Ella of Kicking Cancer's Butt and Diamond Painting uh, opening some of these uh, like a year or more ago. And I never got them because I thought, eh, I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? I'm going to open one. And I'm all excited about it. And I think I have to have my, yeah, I'm going to have to put my own batteries in there. So it's, it's a battery operated lamp that has a nice hanging hook if you want, or you can just stand it up. Let's, there. You can stand it up, so that's nice. I don't know why it's, okay, oh, I see, okay. So it's got the bulbs inside here, and then it's got the face of the clock with these little punch out things where the lights go in. And then it's got all the mechanism here. So what you do is you just stick these lights into, whoops. Stick all these lights through these holes here. And there we go. Then, oh, oh, hold on. There. Okay, so then you snap that into place. Pippi, stop it. Then you then you snap the um, that back plate into place, and then what you do is you punch these little holes out. Let's do that right now. There we go. The five holes are punched out, and then you put this through put those LED lights through these holes. Now this is after you finish diamond painting it that you would do this part. Like this part here, it's done. I don't need to do any more. The next thing I'll do is I diamond paint this and then, uh, and then I put it all together by just pushing the finished piece down onto here, putting the bulbs through the holes in the paper and there we go. <laughs> I'm having trouble with this. It's actually not that hard everybody. <laughs> it's just me. It's just me. And then uh, you won't have to worry about those lights coming uh, loose because these just cut, go in and then you stick this down into there and they're held in place. So I'm not gonna do all five of them because you don't need to. But um, then you've got a diamond painted uh, night light, uh, which I think is super, super cute. And I did love this image. So, I mean, here is what it's gonna look like finished. I'll also flash it up on the screen for you because I think that'll be easier to, to see. Um, and we'll just look at it in a side-by-side. -side. Um, but I thought this would be beautiful. I thought it would be kind of elegant and I thought it would be the sort of thing that, you know, if you wanna put it on anywhere where you just need a little bit of light. Like, I think this would make a fantastic night light in a bathroom, for example. I would put, uh, rechargeable batteries in it for sure but you know if you've got uh, if you've got guests or whatever or just something pretty 
on a side table somewhere or something like that. So you get the uh, the five bulb covers. Uh, you get the painting, the kit, which has a bunch of bags in here, which is good. And the wax in the boat and the single placer. All very good. And then you get the diamonds. So the only thing you don't get with this that you need is the battery. And it does have an on off switch here. So, you know, it's not like it's going to be running all, all, all the time. And let's take a look at these gorgeous girls now. And again, the, this is a very reasonable price. It's uh, €6.99. All the prices are up on your screen, so, you know, you'll be able to tell what that is in your currency. Uh, but that, I think, is a, a very reasonable price for one of these. I've seen these advertised much more expensive oh my god okay i absolutely love these drills oh my goodness okay i absolutely love these drills and i'm going to show them to you right now so i have a thing about special shape diamond paintings you guys know that that's no big surprise to you but here i have a whole bunch of and i'm gonna turn on the flash because they're just so beautiful. They deserve all the sparkle. So these are um, like a metallic blue coating on top. So instead of there being uh, like a blue plastic, like a blue acrylic drill that has silvering on the bottom, these are clear crystal drills that have uh, the blue metallic coating, the blue foil, I call it blue foil, okay? Uh, it's got the blue foil on the top. And I just sorted all of my crystal drills. No, I didn't sort my crystal drills. I sorted my special shape drills. So I haven't sorted my crystal drills yet. So I don't think I have these, but anyway. And then the next thing that it has are these gorgeous, gorgeous uh, pink uh, seed shaped faceted uh, iridescent drills. And then we have the seed-shaped faceted crystal drills. These ones, though, they have gold foil on top. So again, instead of there being like a yellow drill with uh, silvering on the bottom, it's a clear crystal drill with uh, the gold foil on top. And then we have the clear crystal drills with uh, faceting and with um, an iridescent coating on them and then here we have more of these blue foil foil topped uh, crystal drills these are bigger than the ones we saw first so I don't know if you can see the difference in size there yeah you can see the difference in size so that's interesting I really like that and then look at this this is like a bronze colored foil on these crystal drills for sure I've never had a diamond painting that had this before I love this and those are you know that medium sized drill as well and then here we have uh, these special shape drills I've had these in another kit before and they really look great um, yeah, they really look great. You get a lot of sparkle from, from these. So they're plastic sort of silver drills, uh, but they're they're great. And then we have the sort of, I don't know what that is, like an aquamarine um, blue crystal drill, which is beautiful. And then we have, oh, we have lots of, because we have two bags of the gold topped, uh, round drills so uh, these are the gold foil on top so these are these are absolutely beautiful <gasps> oh my god and then we have these sort of cranberry red foil uh, covered crystal drills I've never had those before either those are incredible I love those and then finally sorry my phone rang uh, I didn't recognize the number. I didn't recognize the number. And uh, so I just, anyway, I didn't take the call. I hate getting called by people 
who, you know, are trying to sell me something. Um, and this is probably saying, you know, you, you have to call Revenue Canada, your tax, you know, your, or else you're going to go to jail. Anyway, um, so these are, are the silver topped uh, black crystal drills and they are beautiful. They look fantastic. This is going to look elegant, I think. I think this is going to look absolutely beautiful and I am so pleased with the choice I made <laughs> for my first uh, lamp. And uh, I just love it. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I may not put this into my, well, it's in my penny, penny bowl already. I might pick the penny out and just do this. I don't know, because I just love this so much. Or I can wait and be delighted when the penny for it comes up. I don't know what I'm going to do. I love it. Gorgeous. And these drills, they are absolutely magnificent. Oh, this is going to be a joy to do. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put this away. Oh, this, by the way, is number 515. Uh, I call it the gold blue, uh, golden blue mandala LED light from Fans House. Okay. Oh, I forgot to um, I forgot to tell you how many colors there were, or how many different kinds of drills there were. So, let's see, 11, 11 different kinds of drills, which is great. So now we're going to look at the last item, and this is a rose tries. And this is one um, of my very first requests that I got through the Rose Tries program, and it is from Crystal Diamanda. Now, Crystal sent me many, many links that she wanted me to try out. And many of them were variations on a theme. Uh, this is one of about, I don't know, there were probably at least 10 links that uh, Crystal Diamanda sent me uh, right after I first announced the Rose Tries program. And uh, because it, it was the first time that I got any requests, I ordered a lot of the ones that she asked me to. And, okay, this is very well stuck. I'm just going to see if maybe they stuck it down with the plastic on the wrong way. No, this is, the plastic is fine. The plastic was put on properly. Um, for those of you who are new to diamond painting, the cover plastic has to be applied with the correct side down. If you put it down the wrong way, uh, you're going to have a hard time getting your plastic off your canvas because the plastic is only non-stick on one side. Uh, I learned that to my cost when I got a diamond painting from a company that shall remain nameless here, um, and they had applied the plastic on one side wrong side down. So I struggled to get the plastic off uh, when I was doing the unboxing video for that. Now there's still many items that she sent me that I haven't ordered yet and because they are mostly variations on a theme I, I have them on my list and I might order them down the road because I do like her choices. Um, but I have received so many other choices and I want to give everybody a chance to have their their requests um, uh, unboxed. So, uh, so this one here I call Lotus number two and I just love the image. It's simple. There is a ton of color blocking. This here is all one color. It's 3865. Um, 
there's 20 colors here not a lot of colors but it just adds to the simplicity of this image which I think is going to look absolutely beautiful when it's done um, so for this I'm not complaining at all about the number of colors I think that the number of colors just adds to the simplicity of this I was hoping that it would turn out really nice and I'm not looking at it through the camera yet uh, but with my eyes like I'm, I'm sitting I don't know my eyes are maybe three feet away from it and um, it looks great it looks really really nice and you can like the birds look really cute yeah I like this a lot okay um so let's measure it. it's advertised as uh, 40 by 40 that's the canvas size and of course because this is uh, a round drill area uh, it's just under 34 centimeters across uh, so 17 centimeters it would be pi times 17 squared uh, which I don't know what that is because I 15 squared is 250 or 225 centimeters so um, let's say it's 220 just for argument's sake um, no let's say it's 250 uh, times 3.14 we'll say times 3 250 so this is about 750 square centimeters is that right I don't know I'll flash up what the area of this is I'll do the math well Google will do the math for me and um, and I'll tell you what what it, what the drill area for this is wait you guys you know math not my strong suit okay so let's take a look at the legend oh first I'm going to mark the uh, 34 diameter okay All right, so yeah, number 519. Okie doke. Okay, I'm really, really disjointed doing this unboxing for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because I didn't get enough sleep last night. So um, last night, my friend Dawn got in touch with me and our friend Carolyn and said, hey, it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow. Let's have, you know, potentially our last get together in my backyard. So we do this socially distanced thing. This will be the third one. Uh, and so I was all excited about that and I responded yes count me in kind of thing and then this morning uh, like I went to bed late last night as usual like 3 2 30 3 in the morning whatever and at 8 o'clock I got two text messages now one text message would not wake me up two text messages however one right after the other that woke me up and so I was awake at 8 o'clock this morning and so I didn't have enough sleep and so my brain's not functioning very well. Unfortunately, Carolyn can't join us for the socially distant thing because she's going on a big bike ride with some other friends of hers. And uh, so Don and I are getting together. Anyway, uh, so let's see what comes with this. This comes with a standard kit, which is all you need. And we're going to take a look now at the legend. So it has legends on both sides of the canvas. Let me just pull back this plastic here. And those are super, super simple symbols. These are round drills. There is absolutely nothing confusing here. I love the fact that they have DMC numbers on the canvas. They don't have DMC numbers on the bags of drills, but that's okay. So let's go to 1x and let's take a look at the drill area so you see how clear that is this will be a pleasure to work on yeah and this is definitely one that i will do because i do love it uh, when i saw the image it was like oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah i definitely want to do that one um so there we go. I think it's going to look lovely. And you see all that color blocking. But that's going to go fast with my 
with my nine placer. It's gonna go super, super fast. And I've worked with these uh, blue stripe drills many times and they are, or purple stripe, whatever. Um, and they are great drills. So what's that? Is there something on the canvas there? No, that's just printed right onto the canvas. So there must have been, in the image file, there must have been a little dot of color there. Okay. Um, yeah, this is super clear. It's gonna be super simple. With a nine placer, it's gonna go like a knife through butter, a hot knife through butter. Cold knives don't necessarily go very fast through butter, but hot knives, yeah. As long as the butter's not too cold, I've learned this. Um, okay. So there you go. I think I think it's beautiful. I think it's just beautiful. I'm gonna not iron this canvas, even though it's got a few little wrinkles in it, because I have been asked now by multiple people to do an ironing video. So I will do an ironing video, and this will be one of the ones that I iron, most likely. Um, but I do want to have some that are not ironed, so that I can iron them in the ironing video. Wouldn't really show much if I ironed diamond paintings that had been pre-ironed. Okay, so let's take a look now at the drills. And for that, I'll bring you way, way down. And let's open this up. So 20 colors. Uh, I think that's I think that's a good number for our, a diamond painting that's as simple as this. Like this is a super simple image and I think that it'll render very well with not too many colors. So there's number one and there's number 20. So we have all the colors we need. Let's take a close look here. Yeah, so I am uh, getting ready for a long COVID winter. And while I am very, very happy to um, to hear the news about, you know, the vaccines that are nearly, uh, that seem to be very promising. Uh, well, like everybody, I think I'm very happy to hear that. Um, I don't believe it's going to be anytime soon that those vaccines are actually available to the likes of me. Uh, so I am expecting that this winter will be a long, lonely COVID winter. Um, do you remember that song? I don't know. Many of you are way too young, but there was a song. I don't know who sang it, but it started off. Oh, it's gonna be a long, lonely summer. But darling, I promise you this, I'll send you all my love every day in a letter and seal it with a kiss. Anyway, I don't know why that song came to mind, except that it's gonna be a long, lonely winter uh, for people like me who live alone. And uh, so I am going to jump at every opportunity. Ooh, that's a nice chocolate color. Mm, 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 I like that. Uh, so I'm going to jump at every opportunity to visit with my friends in a very socially responsible way and a very socially distanced way um, between now and when it gets too cold to be visiting outside. Uh, and I don't know about you, but I am not somebody, oh, look at all this 3865. Um, I am not somebody who feels comfortable eating in one of those, you know, balloon houses. Uh, the restaurant next door to me has put up this, what I call a balloon house. Um, it's not, it's just a big tent and they've got like air, blowers or something like that and they've got heaters and all sorts of and it's socially distanced inside the tables are all far apart yeah i'm not going to be visiting one of those places 
I mean, you know, I'll order from them, take out, and I have done that, and, you know, they were very appreciative, which I thought, you know, wow, that says a lot when when the, um, the waitress who uh, gave me my order, she's like, thank you so much for, you know, patronizing us, and it's like, oh my goodness, you know, like, I love that restaurant, it's just, I'm not going to eat on their patio in a bubble, in, you know, a, a, a balloon house, just not going to do it. Anyway, uh, so I am mentally preparing myself for a fall, winter, and potentially early spring devoid of social contact, like in person. Okay, so there is the Lotus number two all done, and I would love to hear... Crystal Diamanda, what you think of this? And are you going to buy it? Um, I'm really glad that I have it because I think it's going to be fantastic to work on. Okay, so the first one of my finishes I recorded a little while ago uh, when I was doing the post-completion video. So you, if you follow my channel, you've seen this one in a post-completion video. Um, but that's okay. I'm not going to do a full review on it. You're just going to see the finished product. And so you'll be able to decide whether it's something you like or not. Uh, so let's cut away to that. Okay, everybody. So I just wanted to add this as a finish for a previous fan cells project. Uh, because as I said, from now on, for the companies that um, I'm working with, I will show you all of my finished products uh, in... At the end of unboxing videos that does like I will still be doing the detailed post completion reviews so you can expect to continue to see the finished products in post completion reviews as normal and you know with the detailed detailed um, commentary and you know what my experience was and the process of finishing it but I do want to make sure that you're uh, given um, an update as well uh, at the end of videos that I post for the six companies I'm working with so that you know um, how previous projects that I've unboxed turn out. So I, I really like the way this one turned out. Uh, it actually looks fantastic. <laughs> in my opinion. So uh, so there you go. If you want to see more, uh, the unboxing video has been published and uh, you will be able to find it in my uh, post-completion reviews playlist. Okay, so um, I really liked the Owls in the Oak Tree. I thought that it was beautiful and even though at first I didn't think it was that beautiful, but after I looked at it, from a distance, it was like, oh yeah, that's really pretty. <laughs> and so the next one that I picked from Fancells, uh, and I haven't recorded the post-completion video for that yet, that I'll probably record tomorrow because I'm finishing the fourth uh, diamond painting for that uh, video right now. Um, so this one here I call Friend of the Forest, and it is a 30 by 40 canvas. Um, Funny, I didn't write the drill area, but it doesn't really matter because it's not a full coverage diamond painting. But um, I really liked it. I'm going to turn the flash on because it's a little cloudy outside right now, so it's not sparkling. This thing is very, very sparkly. Oh, I thought it was thunder, but it's my dog growling at something she sees outside. <laughs> Look at this. I just, this is possibly my favorite part of the whole diamond painting is this little guy. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I like this. So you, those gold foil drills that, uh, that I was showing you on the clock, that's what we have in the tree, uh, for the leaves on the tree. And, um, and so they, they look really, really nice. They look kind of elegant. It looks like gold. And I just, I like the way it looks. And it was fun to do. And what's not to like with this? I mean, special drill diamond paintings. They're just awesome. I love them. Uh, can't get enough of them, which is why I probably have about 150 of them now. Anyway, um, there you go. 
Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this. I just wanted to show it to you. And uh, the links to the two that I've completed, along with the links to the three that I opened, uh, will be in the, well, are in the description down below. And so I would encourage you to check out the Fancells site. And uh, you can certainly purchase any one of the diamond paintings that I've shown you today. But they have thousands of others. And like I say, their prices are fantastic. So I would like to thank Fancells for uh, allowing me to show off their diamond paintings and to try them for my viewers. Uh, I just, I love being able to do this and to show you diamond paintings that I really love and to be able to tell you, uh, you know, if there's something that you want to be concerned about. Um, nothing concerns me about any of these diamond paintings that, uh, that I unboxed today. And as you saw, the finished product, uh, the finished projects that I showed you at the end of this video, they look great. So that's it everybody for today. I do have more fan cells unboxings to do for you, so you'll see more in the coming days. And that's it for today. I would like to thank all of my patrons who support my channel through their generous contributions to Patreon. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. It helps with buying the little things that, uh, that help to make my channel a little bit better for you. The next thing I'm looking to buy is some good lights so that um, I am not uh, subject to the tyranny of clouds um, in terms of uh, light. And since we're into daylight savings time here in Canada now, uh, it is the window that I have for recording videos is very small. Um, given that I am a night owl and so I'm not awake early in the morning. Uh, I only really have about two or three hours that I can use uh, for recording during the day. And I have a lot of other things I have to do during the day. So anyway, sometimes that's difficult. Um, so getting some good lights to shoot my videos with will be important. And that will also allow me to do more desk work type videos where I'm showing you stuff on my drafting table where I'm either um, drilling something or trying something or experimenting with something. Anyway, uh, some good lights will, will go a long way to, to making that doable. And I want to thank all of my subscribers and other viewers. If you're not a subscriber yet, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and then take another moment to click the bell for notifications so that whenever you get a notification that one of my videos has been published, you can click that notification and be taken straight to my video. Um, if you enjoy this kind of video, please let me know that by doing one or preferably both of the following. Give it a like and leave me a comment down below. And I'm definitely looking forward to getting comments from Crystal Diamanda and Zara Secker to let me know what you thought of the two items that I unboxed for you today. All right, everybody. Thanks. This was like the longest goodbye. Um, thanks, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.